Lost Junior Worship at home. So just a reminder, but this month's heart print is on our sign right here and it says, I can choose to be joyful. Exactly. So even if we are maybe scared or sad or even mad, <clears throat> we just have to remember that Jesus is always in our hearts. And if we know that, that Jesus is always with us and in our heart, we can choose to be joyful. All right, boys and girls. So today and every day, I want you to remember, it's okay to have those feelings of happy, sad, mad, um, and angry. angry. Yes, thank you. Um, it's okay to have all those different feelings, but just always remember that Jesus is with you and he can help you to be joyful. So we're going to do an activity later, guys. And so you'll need some colorful markers. You'll need a pen or a pencil. And you'll need some paper. Okay. So who's ready to go sing? All right, boys and girls. It's that time to sing. So stand up because I've got the joy, joy, joy in my heart. that at last you have renewed your concern for me indeed you have been concerned but you had no opportunity to show it I am not saying this because I'm in need for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Every situation. Whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. Thank you, Jesus. I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. Hallelujah. Yeah. i 
Because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Every situation, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. I can do everything through Him. what the word joy means? That's right. Joy is a feeling of peace and happiness that comes from God. When we are joyful, we are full of joy. It is a choice. Our heart print for this month is, I can choose to be joyful. Can we say that together? I can choose to be joyful. Very good. Last week, we learned while Paul was in prison, he wrote a letter to the Christians in Philippi, telling them he was praying for them. He reminded them to stay strong and make choices that would point others to Jesus. Let's learn some more about what Paul wrote to the Christians in Philippi. He told them to follow Jesus' example by showing love to each other and other believers. What are some ways we can show love to others? That's right, by sharing our toys, by helping our parents. Very good. I love all of your answers. We can be kind and care for them. We can think not only about ourselves, but instead be a good team player. If you were on a soccer team and you never let anyone else kick the ball, would you be a good team player? No. Jesus thought about others and helped them. Paul reminded the people to follow Jesus' example and think about and help others. Paul told the Philippines to practice the things that had been taught. Being joyful isn't always easy, but it's the right choice to make. We have to practice being joyful. Paul also wrote in his letter for the believers to follow Jesus' example and do all things with a joyful heart. That means that we are not to complain, whine, or argue when caring for, helping, and encouraging others. The same words Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians can apply to us too. We can do all things with a joyful heart. We can choose to be joyful and follow Jesus' example of showing love, caring for, helping, and encouraging others, especially fellow believers. I can choose to be joyful with my words and actions. Let's bow our heads and say a quick prayer. Jesus, thank you for giving us your example and doing everything with a joyful heart. Help us remember to choose to be joyful and show you to others. We love you. Amen. So guys, like we learned in our Bible story, Paul, while he was in jail, wrote letters to his friends. So today, we're going to be like Paul. Yes. And we're going to write a letter. 
All right. So I'm it can excited. be to anyone you want. You can be to your grandparents or even your siblings if you want, or your mom or your dad, or maybe like a neighbor down the street. It can be anyone you want. Okay. All right. So you can start off by coloring something colorful. I'm going to do a flower at the bottom. I'm going to draw one of my favorites, a sunshine. Oh, I love sunshine. Make sure you color it in nice and pretty. Mm. What else should I do? What about a butterfly? Butterflies are pretty. Ooh, yes, I love butterflies. You want you to have your parents or an older sibling help you write some words down? Yes. Like if you wanted to write, I love you, or I miss you, or uh, can't wait to see you soon, something like that. Here's my butterfly and my flower. Miss Elena is going to write her letter to her grandparents. Ooh, Miss Sherry started writing one. I'll read it in just a second. Dear oh. Grammy, Ooh. which is what I call my grandma. I call her Grammy. All right, I'm gonna draw a beach. A beach? Yes, because I can't wait to go back to the beach. I'm writing a letter to you, boys and girls. And then I'm going to put love, Elena. Let's see, what else can I draw? Oh, a fish. I like that idea. So mine says, Dear Blast Junior, I miss you and can't wait to see you. Love, Miss Sherry. I can't wait to see what you boys and girls wrote on your letter or what pictures you drew. And Miss Elena, what does yours say? Mine says, Dear Grammy, I love you and miss you. I can't wait to see you soon. Love, love. Elena. She's going to love that. All right. Well, we should mail out our letters later today because I think they will be so excited, your Grammy, to get your letter. Yes. So all you have to do is hand this to your parent and they should know how to do it. Um, but they'll put it in an envelope, which is what it's called, and put a stamp on it, and then you can go put it in your mailbox. Yes, they're going to be so excited to get a letter from you. All right, boys and girls, we are so excited that we are going to get to see you probably Father's Day weekend. And this is really exciting to Miss Elena and I because we're going to be starting off doing family worship. And Miss mm -hmm. Elena, can you explain what family worship is? Yes. So instead of coming back to church like you normally do, and you usually would come in here and play with us, but the first few weeks we're going to go into the big church center. So usually where mama and daddy go, we're going to go in there with them, okay? And we're going to sit with our family. So we're not going to get to sit with our friends, but, but that's okay. We get to sit with our families and our siblings. And I am super excited about that, boys and girls, because our parents and guardians really are our first spiritual teachers. So yeah. that's pretty awesome that we get to go and be in church with our parents and our family and see what they do over there with the pastors. It'll be super fun. It will. And you know what else is we have something really cool for you guys, too, when you come back these first few weeks. Everybody, when you come in, we will give you a backpack so you will have your own backpack and it will look like Miss Elena's that you can decorate here I put Timmy's hand and traced it and then my hand over it um, since I am here to be the one to help guide him and so you can have your family members all put their handprints on um, because we are in this together but let's show you what we have inside of our bag so you will have, we will put the first week, a snack in your bag. Mm. We will put some kind of crayons or coloring utensils that you will get to keep. 
And we will also have an, a craft activity for you to sit there and color. And just to keep you busy as you are sitting so nicely with your family and listening so that your parents could also listen to the pastor speak. Mm -hmm. How about we go into the worship center and let's, let's go try it out. I think that's a great idea, Miss Elaine. Okay, boys and girls, we are getting ready to enter into the worship center. We picked up our cool bags, okay? Um, and we're getting ready to show you the do's and, and don'ts. The don'ts. Don't follow what I do in the video, okay? No. <laughs> so we need to remember to be very quiet mm -hmm. while the pastor is preaching up at the front, okay? We have to and use our listening. Listen to the songs. Okay, so I'm super excited to see you guys. All right, let's go in. today boys and girls how about you I did yes <laughs> well again remember our heart print of the month is I can choose to be joyful so anything you're doing remember to somehow find joy in that um, speaking of finding I have this really cool magnifying glass and I like to play games to be joyful sometimes with my family I do too and here is a fun game I got. It's called Family Scavenger Hunt. And it's really cool. And so I just pulled out a few cards. So I wanna see if you can find these at your house, okay? Let's see, we have a remote control. Mm. Can you go quickly find a remote control? Mm. How I about, <laughs> oh, all right, go Miss Elena, go. How about a blue crown while you're at it? Miss Elena is looking for a remote control and a blue crown, and we're waiting on you, boys and girls, too, to come find it and show it to us in front of the camera. In the back. And one more, and I think she's already wearing it. How about, can you look outside, or maybe somewhere in the house, and see if there's a yellow flower? <sighs> okay. All right, Miss Elena, let's see. What did you find? I found our TV remote. Oh, yay! I found a blue crayon. Took she, me a while. She sure did. And I oh. found a yellow flower. 
Good learn. job, Miss Elena. That awesome. Was fun. Yeah, and boys and girls, I can't wait to see what you guys, if you found everything too. Um, maybe next time you could tell us something to find. Tell us what we need to go and do a scavenger hunt for <laughs> and then show you guys, okay? <laughs> All right, well, join us again next week. So if you are not able to make it to the service um, with your family, that is okay. We will still have this video just for you to learn about our Bible lesson. So, all right. Bye. Bye, see you next week.